When discussing Kant, it is typical to concentrate on the equilibrium Kant for curves, which can be calculated using an equation and a few known values, making it suitable for examples and exercises. However, what is frequently overlooked is how the amount of Kant applied to a curve is actually determined. In this video, we will explore the factors that can influence the choice of applied Kant during design. If you have any questions or thoughts on the video, please do pop a comment below. If you could hit subscribe while you're there, I would very much appreciate it. Choosing how much of the calculated equilibrium can to actually apply to the track is an important decision for a track designer. Traditionally, the rule of thumb used to be to apply two-thirds of the equilibrium cant as the applied cant. However, thoughts on this have evolved, and now a more nuanced approach is taken. Higher levels of cant deficiency are now considered to help reduce railway rates and other route favored. Equalizing the applied cant and cant deficiency does have the advantage of allowing the shortest transition length. A range of factors are considered. The train traffic mixed through the site is the main one. The track might be designed for higher speed passenger trains, but the majority of trains traveling through the area could be freight trains going at a lower speed, for example. If the area is near a station, the majority of trains might be stopping, rather than going straight through at full line speed. How the signaling arrangements affect the pattern of train movements is another area to consider. Are trains brought to a stop frequently, waiting for a green signal, for example? The can't apply to track, and therefore the forces at play when trains traverse a curve, also have an impact of the track components. Side wear, rolling contact fatigue and plastic flow are all examples of rail defects that can be caused by bad choices of cant. You can see that there are a number of real-world factors that affect choosing an applied cant value when designing track. It is not straightforward, and draws on the knowledge of the designer or engineer. Knowledge of the operations in the area, as well as the balance of traffic, is key. It can be seen as a balancing act. Ultimately, the track has to be designed to be traversed safely and comfortably at the published line speed. However, through the selection of applied cant values, the track can be optimized for the local usage conditions. This will drastically improve the life of the rails and other track components. As you can see, there is a lot to be taken into account when looking at the applied cant value and no hard and fast rules. I hope you have found this video useful and it has given you something to think about when you next looking at cant on a curve. Thank you for watching.